In this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show, Jules asks a question. That's four incredible. fathers or four fathers? Wow. Ben makes an observation. God, it's not cool, eh? <laughs> And then we discuss wood. Oh, it is a wooden thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a yeah. type of wood. There's okay. other kind of stuff. Two viewers will realize that it will be a all this and more when the Bourbon Guild review Elijah Craig, 18-year-old single barrel. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild review show. We got Dutch, Jules, Dylan, Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield, here today to talk about... Elijah Craig. Elijah, what? Elijah, Elijah. 18 years. So this is a little bit special for me <laughs> because since we started doing this show, I've been trying to get my hands on a bottle of this because I've wanted to try it and I've wanted to review it. Sure. Um, and we finally got it. And I want to say thanks to the, the fine people at the, at the Bottle House in San Diego. That was fantastic for them. Uh, great find. Um, having Amazing. a great selection there. Um, so this, Go visit. Yeah, go visit them if you're in town, guys. Um, so it's a single barrel, 18 years old. I believe as of this filming, this is the oldest bourbon we've had on here. That's I what I was going to say. I we think had the, the uh, the wild turkey 17 year master's keep. Mm. Um, I know we've got some older ones in the pipeline, uh, some older ones that are going to be coming through soon. But, um, huh. as of right now, I think 18 is the oldest we've, we've got. It's kind of at that upper spectrum of the sweet spot that a lot of people say. Um, so it is a single barrel. It is 18 years old. Um, it comes at you at 45% alcohol or 90 proof. Um, availability is really tough. Yeah. I mean, this is one that you yeah. you might see it in, the, in you, you may see it in some liquor stores, but it's going to be priced sometimes $2.99, sometimes $3.99. I think I've, I've seen it highest was what $3.50. Four fifty. I think online, yeah, four fifty. So four ninety nine. Yeah, ridiculous. I mean, we saw just, a bottle online. It's we crazy. saw a bottle in Heaven Hill Distillery uh, in their gift shop, but it was in their collection and not for sale, and it was one bottle. So um, yeah, and they very do. Hard to find. They do apparently sometimes sell it at the gift shop yeah. there. Um, just just tough to get your hands on. So um, MSRP one twenty. Again, you see this thing three hundred bucks quite quite often. Um, bottle design obviously very different than any of the other Heaven Hill yeah. products mm-hmm. that we've reviewed. Different than both of the Elijah Craig yep. bottle shapes, all that. It's kind of a narrow bottle. Um, great color to this bourbon. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Um, I, I mean, I, I like this bottle design. It's got a little bit of yeah, great. You know, it's unique. Some, some I think lines on it, stuff like that. Engraving on there. Um, pretty cool. A little literature book as well that comes with it. I mean, just a little flyer thing. Um, and so, for those of you keeping score at home, we are reviewing barrel number four four zero five, and it was bottled on August eighth. 2017. So this is the newest iteration of it. All right. Um, Very and cool. I will crack this up. And if uh, Dylan, if you got anything extra. Yeah. So Heaven Hill, um, mash bill is 75 corn, 13 rye, 12 malted barley. Um, I think we kind of talked about all of the Baptist preacher history and all that. Yeah. So, so I, mean, I think we're ready to dive in. One I'm of the, really uh, curious. One of the forefathers of bourbon, right? Elijah yep. Craig. Yep. That's right. Amazing. Yeah, so that's four incredible. fathers or four fathers? Wow, one of four fathers. <laughs> do you know where that is from? <laughs> exactly. You guys are dating yourselves. Again. We do this all day. Long. <laughs> yes, you do. All right. Wow, well, what a great sound! Oh, very narrow uh, cork compared to a lot of things you see these days. Mm-hmm. I was ready to just drink Ooh. it right. Out. I think it, I think it's... save some for the rest of us, please. Oh yeah. My God, it's not Kool Aid. <laughs> That's not, a, that's not that bad of a pour. <laughs> wow. All right. Should I do we can help tell Dutch is very know. excited about this bourbon. Yeah. Just hope I'm... Thank you. All right. So if you're new to the Bourbon Guild, we do have a 10-point uh, grading system. Okay. We give uh, two points for aroma, uh, three points oh, for yeah. complexity, two points for drinkability, Three points for uh, uniqueness and a bonus point for value. So value being a function of price and uh, its availability. So for a grand total of 10 points, I guess theoretically 11 points. But uh, yeah, here we go. This is again a tough one. This is for me. Yeah. 
I'm a little surprised by my score here. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm surprised. I guess I should fill in my total. Really? Oh, I'm really wow. surprised now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, guys, what do you get? Ben. Eight. 7.5. 7.5. 7.5. Wow. Holy we're all, is, wow. we're all pretty close enough. Close enough. I'll come close enough. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, well let's, let's kick it off. It. Yeah, let's, let's kick it. it off with Aroma. I got. I give it a one. What? Really? Seriously? The well, aroma well, hold on. That about that makes sense because I gave it a two. <laughs> two. 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 <laughs> that yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes that's sense. All right right here. Here. Viewers know <laughs> that. There you go. Dutch. That's a full one. Right. Full bodied aroma. So, yeah. does that mean that really mine should be an 8.5 because this should have been a 2? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, adjust, if you were at home, adjust your slide rule for the grading scale. Uh -huh. Or slide whistle. <laughs> yeah, slide whistle. No, I, uh, the, the aroma was gorgeous. Like, yeah. as soon yeah. as it. Oh, yeah. As it soon just as hits it, you. It, oh, it got me. Beautiful. It got me in and out. Ma uh, marshmallow, caramel, maple, cherry, everything, like, greatest, like a greatest hits of bourbon, just mm -hmm. in the nose yeah. immediately. Um, no, it's low proof. It's not 90 proof, so there's not much burn at all, and so it's a lot of complex, mature flavor coming out. So, I, I will make a one, comment. I will I'm make, make one a comment to there that. Is a burn there is a burn. There yeah, is a burn. Yeah, there you go. On the nose. It's it's strange because and again, I like yeah. higher proof yeah. stuff. Right. Okay. And yet this had a little. Are you guys bit talking of... about on the nose as a burn, or when you're drinking it? No, when I'm drinking it. Okay. So there aroma. A anything else to add? But to yeah, what Ben no, said. Yeah. I mean, I get the caramel, yeah. but it's just kind of muted to me. I mean, I, I get something That's, there, but we'll take your one as what a two for the right. rest of us. We, we understand. The, it's your upper yeah. lip. That's, That's you basically got a filter on your upper yeah. lip. Yeah, the beard, That's guys. Fun. The beard right. is not making it any better or worse than it was before. No, yeah. when, yeah. when you didn't like, have a beard, the, the tingle. When you didn't have a beard, your scores were the same. So we accept it. Okay, guys. Complexity. All right. This is where it kind of shined for me. I gave it a two point five. I think. Okay. I think you can taste that there's something going on here. There's some age. Um, it wasn't enough to go to the full three because there wasn't, I mean, there's some good anchor flavors. You get the spices coming through. You get the caramel coming through. You can taste a little bit of that rye coming through. It's really, really solid, hit, but not, not a three. Not you not hit it on the nose for me. You, um, I got anchor flavors. I gave it a two. I didn't Same give here. it a full three. I yeah. gave it a two. There's a lot of anchor flavors. There's a yeah. little bit of what we like out of bourbon but there's the com the complexity that i got from the two is there's the you can taste the aging like well, you can but taste that's that's what pushed it to a 2.5 for me is because i don't just get the sweet and the spice i'm okay. getting that that oakiness that you get yeah. in aged bourbons yeah. and that little bit of that char taste which sometimes it can be off-putting you know we had the eh taylor oh, not too right. long ago and i found that off-putting when it had that kind of smoky yeah. oaky taste this is well balanced on the wood side so i think that's a nice it's not quite enough to push me to a three but a 2.5 i think is Okay. So, I'm so stand up for that. my my personal opinion is I cannot taste the age. Same here. Really, you guys really? don't get any yeah. of the oakiness. No. I I, oh. I, no, I feel well, like I get some. I get some wooden things. Right, but <laughs> but, but, but <laughs> oak is a wooden thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's a yeah. type of wood. There's okay. other kind of. Astute viewers will realize that oak is a wood. <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank no, you. No, Thank no, you, my ben, thing for is the clarification. I feel like I'm just drinking a. Much more kind of potent smelling Elijah Craig twelve. Mm. So I, 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 I don't I mean, remember the a, I don't remember the twelve, but yeah, I mean, there's I, a whole another dynamic well, to this versus are, the twelve. What I remember to, about the twelve was that it was. A I'm very not saying good, it's bad. Right. But the twelve I mean, was good score, right? my, again. Yeah. I'm going by memory and a and a alcohol you know an alcohol fueled haze from when I last drank it. But I remember uh, it wasn't when did you crazy, last drink this? <laughs> probably about eight months ago. Um, <laughs> But I remember Elijah Craig being very uh, greatest hits of bourbon. There's there's a lot of notes that it hits that like the anchor flavors, mm -hmm. and that's why I think that's a very good and descriptive term you used. This is exactly what you just said. It's that plus there's a maturation and there's an oakiness to it that comes from the, the obvious eighteen year age age. I mean, there's uh, just, what it is is there's certain of those flavors are cranked up. Yeah, like that definitely. oakiness is cranked definitely. up to me. The like the cinnamon spice is kind of cranked up a little bit. Yeah. I found it actually to be very smooth. Uh, immediately, that was my so, first. I don't know. Why, it's, it's, they, a it so, so, yeah, it's a ninety proof. It's everybody different. It's a ninety proof. But my first hit out of the bottle out of my glass was just so much smooth. And uh, E H E H so Taylor was super smooth. Yeah. This and that was what seven. Seven. This and it's I think it's similar proof, right? 
Yeah, this, it's 100 proof. Tire proof. Tire proof. Wow. Okay, so that was. But yeah, no burn for me. Yeah, no burn. Wow. Like, this one had a little bit of that. A I mean, bit I remember I gave that uh, the H. Just I gave the, a perfect. It, you know what it is? Maybe it's just at the end. Yeah. Like maybe the I, Elijah twelve is finish, burned. Finish the, whole, the finish is a little bit. Okay, so that, that, that really factors in more to drinkability. So let's well, jump there. Yeah, yeah, okay. and, and because I didn't, I'm not getting that. I'm giving it a two. I found this okay. extremely drinkable. I gave it a two as well. Which is dangerous. Yeah, one point five because five, because again, it's that little it's that bit. Little of bit. That, yeah, it, it's and just, it's not much. Yeah, yeah, it's not so much. On, you maybe know, you, it's not, you guys need me, a little bit of water in your bourbon. Well, yeah, no. So I I am thoroughly confused I will go because I did water. add some water. I didn't, and I did add a little bit of water just to kind of see what happens. And man, it doesn't really need. It, but it opens it up even it makes it much more pleasurable but here's the thing you guys are giving it a 1.5 on drinkability based on what you're you're saying the characteristic like this i don't think this has any say? characteristics of the eh taylor that we reviewed not too long ago and this i agree you're saying this has those characteristics which you say well, no, no, like, this, no, 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 this, no 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 so no. this this is like there it's it pu- it's punching through yeah. the all the flavors are yeah. there for sure you know it you can't avoid it yeah, yeah. EH, I think, is a little bit more delicate. Yeah. Very, very, oh, very, very subtle. I disagree. This is really potent. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. But okay. for, so, so for me, it's just that it's just it, the it just had a little too little much. Bit hard. Let me a tell you too where much it differs for me is because I, I think the reason I, we brought up EH is because it had that that smoky, oaky yeah. kind of yeah. essence to it. This has it, but where the EH Taylor left me with that tannic aftertaste, this has the enough of the spice component. That, that yeah. carries the aftertaste. This has a great finish. So a great I love the finish on it. Yeah. So I mean, I like. I, mean, I, like I got. Yeah. I got I the like one point seven five liter. There's no bitterness you know. to it. There's yeah. no. Yeah. This All is. Right. So right. we okay. have two one point five five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, next category: uniqueness. I. This is actually the one I kind of struggled with. I. I, yeah. I, I felt like it I deserved more, but I gave it a two. Yeah. Mainly two, because two. of everything across the board. Unanimity, guys. I think. I think. I think we appreciate Elijah Craig, right? We, yeah, appreciate, we, we all like a regular right. Elijah Craig. Yeah. And this is regular Elijah Craig kind of cranked we up. We have video cool. evidence of that, yeah. 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 Uh, Maybe it's just the barrel. I, mean, I, yeah. I think this is... Um, it is a single barrel, so again, that caveat. Now, right. again, a two different. out of three on uniqueness. Uh, that's our Bourbon Guild rating score for that, but... We don't. I don't think that's bad. I, I just think it's great. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not taking anything away yeah. from this. It's yeah. just, you know... It's not Final no category, reason. everybody gave this a zero for value? Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Heck no. There's no value. There's no value here. <laughs> Absolutely no value. It I mean, is sorry, really are good. you kidding me? Sorry. It is Seriously? really good. It's expensive. For the price, $30 for the 12-year? Well, you, previously. And then yeah. this? So what I'll say is... You'll never get it at MSRP. Let's throw something out there. Like, let's take... Like, let's go back to Buffalo Trace since we're talking about E.H. Taylor. Their single barrel bourbons... Or for instance, let's take E.H. Taylor's single barrel. Okay. 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 If you're if you're lucky, you can get it at sixty bucks. Maybe you pay up to ninety, but that's reasonable for a really good single barrel. One hundred and twenty, two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks, getting a little bit absurd. Yeah, I gotta say. Yeah. The and eighteen year age. I mean, you do lose a lot through the evaporation, but I mean, this is yeah, good. It is age. So I'm I mean, glad I got point. to try it. I would, you know, I don't think I'd. I ever guess that's buy what I'm wondering though. Is the price is hiked up just because of age? Well, it has to be. You know, I mean, it has to be. So they're, much... Yeah, they're losing money while they're storing. Yeah, it's storing. This thing. No, I get it. Sure. But so I, mean, I get that. You know, I get it. But I, I guess I would say is that if but it's this also is, there's not much if this is flavor. I would say that if we were able to actually get this closer to hundred bucks, I'd consider giving it a point five. At hundred bucks, yeah. I'd give that a point five. I would have. Well, 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 yeah, yeah, but I mean, let's not forget it's it is MSRP at one twenty. So I mean, the street saying sure it's a greater value, but not. That's a fair well, point. Yeah. So I mean, I that's why I'm a, wondering, I'd like you know, point five at at one twenty. If you if you could go into a store, I mean, you can find Macallan eighteen kind of readily available, and that's a Scotch. I know it's different, years. but but about that price, an eighteen year age, yeah, one twenty though. So it's, it, it, it's in the ballpark. If I could find yeah. this at my local uh, large chain grocery store in their glass case or large chain alcohol uh, alcohol uh, beverage store. I would pay it, and I would I would say give it a point five because that, it is expensive. I, I, I yeah, actually think great. that you know I actually think that twenty bucks is kind of what pushes me over the edge. Fair sure enough. Yeah. I mean, I think you have to kind of have that limit. And at one twenty, oh. I I definitely buy another bottle. Yeah, I I, I, I agree with that because there there are the hundred dollar is a limit for a, a particular a yeah particular yeah. Yeah. Okay. category like the but Jeffersons all that, and right. all that know. said, I, I would still say that if you're a fan of Elijah Craig. 
this is probably a worthwhile purchase even up at the 199 level. I mean, it's, it's, I would, you're going to want to try it. I wouldn't pay more than nice 200 for it. addition to your collection, but that's yeah. probably about... Yeah, that's probably the limit. The yeah, if you can find this at I mean, 120, it is about... I wouldn't even yes, say if you're a fan of Elijah. I don't know if you yeah, even that, want to collect it. I'd, I'd go for, for that, sure. At that price. I mean, it is enough. great. I'm I mean, glad I got to drink some. All right, let's get our final tallies here, guys. It's good, though. Yeah. Eight from the butcher. Dylan. 7.5. We all had 7.5, 7. 5, right? 5. Except yeah. me. And our grand total, folks. <laughs> Drum roll, please. 7.625. All right. That is quite respectable. Better be for 200 bucks. Yeah. I, mean, well, I, I think, honestly, for a $200 bourbon, that's a little low. That is. I, I was mean, just going to say, for a $200 it, bourbon, that's a little low. It should be an really 8 low. plus when you're at that price. Well, we had some disagreements about the, the uh, yeah. drinkability and the... Yeah, uh, and I, I was a little surprised. Just part of the fun of it, it's... Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean the, the, it's a the, process, the smell folks. and the flavor is like distinctly... For, for sure. yeah. Yeah. Distinctly It's just that Elijah. extra punch for me. It's just, but yeah, that you know, finish was just yeah. not... I If you like Elijah, this smoother. is... This is... This is a must if you're in a Elijah Craig fan. I feel yeah. like the White Dog had a cleaner oh. finish than... Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Um, end of the day, I think Bourbon Guild... Official rating, 7.625. It's respectable. Um, I think we would say if you're a fan of Elijah Craig and you like that flavor profile. And at a decent price, and, 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 and at a fair price. Worth we'd say tasting. probably 200 and under. It's yeah. worth picking up and trying. Yeah. Um, again, thanks fine. to the Bottle House yes. for hooking Thank us up. Thank you. So um, uh, let, me, let me ask you. Do you think that this is something that, like, you know, not, not like intense enthusiasts, but like casual drinkers, do you think they should go out and get this? No, not worth their time. In my it opinion. depends. I mean, I mean if you can get it, start with Elijah twelve age yeah. statement. Start yeah. find yeah, an age statement, yep. a 12, eight, 12 year age statement, yep. Elijah, and start there. I'd say maybe start with the barrel proof since they don't make the twelve year anymore. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. that can, that is a really it. great. Yeah, yeah. Really great. I mean, I, I might. I don't know how this would stack up against the barrel proof mm -hmm. if you were to dilute it. I mean, like how is the how are the flavor profiles? But I mean, if you're an Elijah Craig fan, I think it's definitely. It's a must. You must try it at some point in your yeah. life. Yeah, must sure. try, but not necessarily. And it's a own. great one to add to the collection time. if you're yeah. an elector, but um, yeah, at the right price. Yeah. yeah. So let's thank the uh, the store again. Yeah. Thanks yeah. again, Bottle House. <laughs> Thanks, Bottle House in San Diego. All right. Well, you guys tell us what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you guys like that episode. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild, and check us out on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, check out our T-shirts. Are you guys wearing T-shirts? You guys of are. Of course. <laughs> and tip your bartenders, especially if they have this on yeah. yeah. And your mom and pop local liquor store. Support That's your right. local liquor store. Mm -hmm. Bourbon Guild out. Thanks. Man, I That's you guys, that was all it over is the kind place. Of I, 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 love, I love this. I love this from the first really? smell. The first it's, really it's, 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 the smell was amazing. I,